Hello everyone, in this video I will explain to you shortly what is the difference between the lean, Six Sigma and how we can combine both of them. How we can apply the lean Six Sigma on any production line or any problem solving or any improvement. So let's start. So the difference between the lean and Six Sigma. So the lean approach, lean management, we can call it lean management, we can call it lean thinking, lean manufacturing, it depends on when we are implementing the lean. So the meaning of the lean, it's removing waste. So whenever we have any waste, we can apply the lean manufacturing, for example, if we have it in any manufacturing production line, so we can use the lean manufacturing in order to remove the waste. So as, as you know, in our process, we have a lot, uh, two kinds of difference or two kind of, of tasks. So we have the added value tasks and we have the non added value tasks. So the added value tasks, so it's exactly what are the tasks or operations that add in the value to our process, to our product or to our output. But the non added value, it's all the tasks and the operations that we are doing without any additional values to our production. For example, the waiting of the stock in the week, for example, the, the firewall or the, any reworks you are doing and so on. So all those kinds of tasks are wastes and the lean help us to remove those wastes in order to achieve our target and our goal. So there is a lot of, of tools that you can apply in, in, uh, in any, let's say, uh, lean uh, manufacturing uh, 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 projects. For example, you have Kaizen, you have 5S, you have uh, Canva, you have uh, Ganban, you have VSM. So there is a lot of tools that you can use in order to, to implement the, 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 the lean manufacturing and in order to remove the waste. So let's move now to the uh, Six Sigma. So what is Six Sigma? So whenever we see the sigma which is the standard deviation in statistics so we are thinking about the math so six sigma it's allowed to us to reduce the variation of our process so the sigma it's the standard variation and the level of this standard variation we have to 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 achieve it so uh, whenever we are reducing the variation, we can obviously uh, achieve our goals. So the enemy of any process is the variation. We are always seeking to have our process centered and stable without any variation, whether in the limit or outside the limits. So Six Sigma helps us to remove those variations and to give us a production or process which is capable. We are talking also about capability. So Six Sigma, we are talking about statistics, about standard deviation, variation, capability, and so on. And lean manufacturing, we are talking about removing waste. So lean, it's removing waste, and Six Sigma, it's removing variation. When we combine both of them we have lean six sigma so we can remove the waste and variation with those two tools and in order to apply it we have a good let's say approach which is which which we are calling the mic or define measure analysis improve and control so whenever you have this big project whether to improve or to remove or to solve any problem so you have to use the demic in order to follow the good approach of the lean six sigma until you find out the solution or until you improve your process so let's start the first step d which is define you have to define everything about this project for example you have to define the problem you have to define your target or objective you have to to define the team with whom you will work in this project you have to define the investment plan you have to define the planning of this project you have to define for example uh, uh, what you will uh, uh, have as 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 uh, uh, as um, as improvements after that and so on so everything uh, you have to define also your process using the CPOC it's another uh, tool of the, the the lean six sigma so you have to define everything about about this uh, this uh, this project then you have to move to the second step which is measure which is the measurement so now you have to start to measure the current situation using whether the lean tools or the six sigma tools for example you can start by the vsm the value stream mapping to define all your process with with the added value and with no added value uh, tasks of your process after that when you define the weights of your of your 
tasks that you have then you have to start to measure the standard deviation to measure your your current capability to measure your system analysis the measurement of your system analysis using the gauge and R and so on so you have to measure everything regarding the current situation after that whenever you measure you have to move on to the analysis so then you have to start to analyze to analyze all the data that you have already collected and that you have already measured so you have to analyze using Ishikawa using the 5Y using the diagrams and so on in order to analyze all those informations and all those data after that whenever you measure whenever you analyze all what you have already measured then you have to move on to the improvements so when you are analyzing obviously you will find out the root cause of the problems so then in the fourth step which is improvement you have to implement and to propose solutions to remove all the problems all the root causes that you have find found in the previous steps so after that you have to move on to the last step which is control so in the last step you have to control the situation if the solutions you proposed are efficient if they uh, they give to you any improvement if they remove the problems that you have and so on so then you can use for example the tools as uh, the SPC the control charts and so on in order to control the efficiency the results and so on and to know if what you proposed after what you analyzed after what you measured after what you defined is correct is good or not if not you have to go back again to the measurement step to measure again and to analyze again and if it's okay so then you can close your project of the lean six sigma and you have already reached your your target so this is let's say more or less introduction and explanation of the difference between both approach and how you can combine both of them in one in one approach so i hope that this video will help you to use and to have at least the minimum idea of the lean six sigma projects so see you next time. Bye-bye.